Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see another important Databricks interview question and this video will be part 16 in our interview series. So let's go ahead and see what the exact question is. But before moving on, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and Instagram and I will leave the link in the description box as well. So the question for today is that write a SQL query to fetch the third highest salary department wise and then write the same query using PySpark. Now this is also uh, one of the commonly asked questions especially because this particular question will test based on your will test your skills in SQL as well and at the same time they will also see that whether you have hands-on in the PySpark or not. So the same query you write in SQL and the same query you replicate using PySpark as well. So let's see what the exact answer for this would be. So if I go to the Databricks notebook that I have, if you see the first cell that I am showing to you over here. So you can actually see that this is, you know, this question can be done in SQL using multiple ways, right? So right now I have, now, and this is one of the very common question as well. For any data engineer, you know, give me the third highest salary, give me the fifth highest salary, give me the highest salary, or give me the third lowest salary, right? In that case, we usually make use of the CD function. So you can actually see, assume that you have a table, you know, an employee table where you have an employee, you know, and you have his sal uh, you have his department employee name or employee number, number employee name, his department name, and his salary. Now, in that case, we usually make use of dense rank. Select star dense rank over partition by department name because if you want to get it department wise, then you do a partition on the department name and then order by salary descending if you want to get the highest salary. And then you get the rank from it. And then using the CTE, right, you will say this is the CTE syntax, right, with T as. Now, then finally, you say select name from T where rank is equal to 3. This gives you the third uh, highest uh, salaried employee, right, department wise. So, the, usually, this is how the approach is. But now, when you talk about PySpark, right, how do you do it? So, this becomes the main question. Now, over here, if you see, you have an employee salary uh, data frame. I have, you know, uh, you know the name of the person spark 1 spark 2 spark 3 spark 4 right different different people over here different different employees the departments sales finance marketing and HR and their salaries so this is the data frame that we have so let me simply run this command so this becomes a data frame and then you know uh, th this just becomes a list and from here we are creating a data frame employee df spark dot create data frame so using spark api we are just creating an employee data frame and i'm saying my schema is this right i have my employee name which is a string i have my department name which is a string i have salary which is an integer now all of this becomes your employee data frame if you see over here this is your data frame or your table in case of spark right in your spark it is called the data frame now you basically import few windows functions now if you see right so basically you have to do partition by because you are grouping it based on the department name right similar to the sql so for that you simply say window dot partition by department name because department name is there in my data frame and then order by salary right it will automatically do the salary in the descending order now this becomes your partition right what we did in the sql as well and we call it as window partition now things like window right you need to specifically import it due to which we are using this import statement from pyspark.sql.window import window right and similarly from pyspark.sql.functions we are also importing rank right because right we are using subsequently here we have done the partition because we are supposed to do the partition based on the department name and then i am saying from my employee df right create a new column using with column name it as rank right and this is the actual rank function which we have imported from here and then rank over window partition and give me the rank this is the name okay this the first part which is in the string this is the name of my column and this is the transformation now what is this transformation rank over this particular partition give me the rank of a person based on his department name order by salary so you got you get an employee df over here right now if i if i do 
display if i simply do a display on my employee df let us see how does it look like and if i run it now you will actually see that your employee df has employee name department name salary and the rank right so for each department if you see right one two four for finance this is the rank and then for another department you have the rank right now this becomes your rank now from here you simply say that from my this particular data frame just filter and give me rank dot rank where where rank is three just give me that this is what you are trying to say and now let me put it everything inside the display and simply run it now the moment i put it inside display you can see only the uh, department wise only the employees which have rank three are coming in over here so this is what our question was first trying to do it in the sql and run simply trying to replicate it in pyspark so this gives a very good idea that okay you understand the concept and you also know you know how these partitioning works in databricks right in your spark how does this partitioning work how you can actually write it and as well as it will help to check on the sql as well whether you are able to write a proper sql statement or not right i have not executed command one there might be little here and there in the syntax wise so you can check that but eventually you know this is how we even calculate the uh, you know the fifth highest salary the second highest salary and there are multiple ways to do it now cte is one way to do it right now this over partition by right the same thing we are trying to do uh, it over here using the window partition over here right and then we are calculating a new column rank and here we are giving this whole transformation and then we are simply filtering out rank 3 so this is what you know uh, the question was i hope you liked this video and it was worth watching you understood something you took away something good from this particular video that is the whole purpose of making uh, especially a tech channel like this so that whatever time you spent you spent uh, on youtube you consume the content right that content that content should actually be really helpful to you in your daily life so i hope you like this video and